Ever since Simon Rattle announced that he would step down from the position at the Berlin Philharmonic's artistic director after his contract ends in 2018, wild speculations have been circulating through the music world as to when the orchestra would announce his successor and who it could be. But no matter how well meant these comments are, the fact remains that the Berlin Philharmonic will elect their next artistic director at their own pace and by their own rules, like they've always done before. After all, in its long-lasting existence, the orchestra has proven to be capable of shaping its own destiny quite successfully. Today, however, for the very first time in its history, the Berlin Philharmonic has allowed a camera team to witness the election of the next chief conductor. Here we are. Can't wait to see what's going to happen. Let's first take a look at the candidate. Surely the who's who of the conducting circus will be here. There's Christian Thielemann, Ricardo Chailly, Maris Janssens, Andres Nelsons. Many faces you would have expected and some you might not have. You can clearly see that the Berlin Philharmonic is pursuing a zero discrimination policy. Conducting skills will be the only qualification by which the candidates will be measured. Here we have Lauren Mazel. Oh, no, sorry, it's Mazel over here. But I think the orchestra's getting ready. Let's take a closer look at the other candidates later. Last details of the procedure being discussed. Everyone seems very concentrated. It's fascinating getting the chance to... Oh, and off they go. Amazing! Beautiful. Now that's what I'd call a perfect Wagner tackle. Just look at the precision and the high level of their artistic performance. And oh, now there's a brilliant Mahler mashup, out of the blue. Just how do they do it to keep this incredible high level of tempo and tension? Ah, uh, there's a Tchaikovsky checkup. Impossible to hold. But wait, he's counterattacking with a Rachmaninoff rebound. Incredible. Well done. I guess that's something only Baron Boyne would come up with. The excitement now clearly spilling over to the orchestra. Look at that! A Stravinsky strike! Gorgeous! Oh, just lean back and enjoy. What a performance! Yoda, the force may be not so strong with him today. The musicians are now preparing for the Beethoven cycle touchdown. And there they go. Oh, beautifully done. I mean, this is as good as it can get. The orchestra totally freaking out. Who could blame them? It's marvellous seeing them so excited. Still absolutely no routine. Everyone's 100% into it. An amazing performance by everyone here today, and the orchestra once again really in outstanding shape. But we're reaching the finale. Only four, sorry, five more candidates to go. Wow! A Brahms double blaster! Almost a triple! Haven't seen that in a long time. And now Tielemann! Tielemann's down. Can't believe it! And now Dudamel's out too! It's done! The Berlin Philharmonic has chosen a new artistic director. Let's see who it is. It's Mickey Mouse! Who would have guessed it? Didn't expect him to come out the winner, though he did make a bella figura throughout the entire quest. Congratulations to the new chief conductor to be. And now comes the question of what the new era will bring. Just imagine all the possibilities that will derive from joint ventures between Berlin Film Media and Disney Pixar Studios. Maybe there will even be a Berlin Philharmonic theme park. Who wouldn't fancy a ride on the Alpine Symphony roller coaster? Or go down Handel's water music slide? Enjoy the Bolero Ferris wheel or get lost in the Marla maze? So many possibilities. I'm sure we can trust the orchestra to make the right decision in the end. It's been so good of them to share with us the process of finding a new artistic director. What an insight into a part of philharmonic life that is normally kept absolutely hidden from the public eye. Am I still on air?